guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here on the big stage at the Tokyo Auto Show for 2023. And of course, we had to come by Toyota with all the electrifying excitement. And it's because of this vehicle right here. This is it. This is your Toyota FTSE. But before we get into this BEV, battery electric vehicle sports car, let's talk about what's going on here. Toyota's on a rampage, going through their lineup, making some redesigns, bringing new models to their lineup, and especially looking towards the future of the mighty sports car. Now, of course, GR, Gazoo Racing, being that milestone and that touch point to bring you the action from WRC with the GR Yaris, and to also bring you all of that action from the WEC, the World Endurance Championship, with, of course, those big victories at Le Mans, this vehicle right here is falling into alignment with the GR86 and of course the GR Supra. Now a lot of people were surprised to see this because it's been about crossover SUVs being electrified, but nice to see a true sports car plus the whole hint of this being the next MR2. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you all the details of this FTSE and see, is it gonna be that new sports car that you should be desiring? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the proportions, you could definitely see if this had a mid-engine, the layout would be perfect. At the front end of the business, everything is super low, very wide. I love the way they did the signature LED lighting, daytime running lamps, your stacked LED headlights, and then you'll notice these enlarged air intakes. Not only is this about functionality, but also cutting down on drag. And the great news is, is that with this battery pack, they were able to shrink the cells. 3.9 inches tall, that's what gives us our very low height. And because it is a liquid cooled battery pack, that's gonna help bring the cool air. Now, of course, we need to cut down on drag. So as we come across the front nose, the way you have that nice low kind of water drop fall to the center area, full functionality, massive gloss black splitter. And I'm telling you, the color combo really makes this thing pop out. We have our GR badge, that Gazoo Racing, all of that racing heritage being brought into this vehicle. Now, as we rise up, you'll notice all the aerodynamic efficiency. So air is gonna come in through the front, come out the top, and then go over that jet fighter cockpit of a canopy there. When we talk about the MR2, remember the MR2 first came out back in 1984. They had three different generations. The last generation was the MR2 Spider. Really wasn't my favorite, but this being the future towards what the MR2 could be is definitely got me excited. Now, as we swing around, I want Lori to kind of showcase the arrow here on the backside. She's, she's gonna swing around, show how that airflow is gonna drift over the windshield. Also, like I said, the airflow coming from that center area with our vortex generators to clean up the air. Dropping down, what do we have going on here? These forged 20 inch wheels. Love the nice satin black and gray finishes, some gloss black. You have your six piston caliper with the FTSE badging on it. And then check out those Japanese pizza style rotors, two piece rotors cross drilled to help dissipate heat. Now with this, it's gonna be interesting to see what they do motor-wise. If it is gonna be a twin motor, obviously you'll have a motor up front, motor out back that would give us all-wheel drive. It would be interesting though, if they just stick with a real-wheel drive setup and just have that rear motor, or maybe even put the motor in the center, just like the original MR2 had the engine in the center being a mid-engine, but definitely the style of the wheel. And what's interesting is that it also shows the performance connection. You're going to have those Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. And if you're wondering, well, what's the size? 255 up, excuse me, 265 up front, 35 series sidewall. And I'm telling you, the way that this thing sits is really the chef's kiss. We come down the side, you got your GR badge, the way that fender drips into the passenger door. And you'll notice that from the side, this is actually not too long of a vehicle. And I really think that is smart. I could easily see this sitting next to a GR Supra and a GR86. Now, like I was telling you, they really sculpted the side mirrors. Nice aerodynamic aid. Look at the attachments to bolt that thing to the side door. You have your clear panoramic glass roof. Very unique how they have the two areas over the driver and passenger 
nice see-through glass roof. We're gonna see if we could get inside in a short few moments. Flushed on the door handles, and look at how that belt line just comes out and you have a nice flared fender into the rear. Now, of course, because this is a BEV, battery electric vehicle, you're gonna have your BEV badge, and then you have a functional side air intake as well. And that side sill extension really drops down sharply. Now, when we look at the rear of the vehicle, what do we have going on? 295 on the width, 35 series sidewall. You're gonna have your four piston calipers, nice super size. That looks like a freaking big, huge plate that I ate dinner off of, of a rear rotor two piece. I love the way they did the lug nuts, that nice gloss black with the GR badge. And then just like we started up front, wait until I show you the back. Talk about a sexy back. Look at the way they did the arrow with the taillights, extended it high up, brought it towards the rear. And then of course, just like the Supra, just like the GR86, you got a nice bit of a kick up on this rear area. Now what's fascinating is you actually have usable storage underneath the rear glass here. So that's gonna be another thing to kind of showcase usability, performance, and you have a carbon fiber rear strut tower brace. So this thing is all about performance. Having that battery nice and low in the chassis is gonna give us better handling, really lower the center of gravity. And as we lower down, just like up front, you have these rear vents looking spectacular with our LED lighting. The gloss black rear diffuser area looks like it's plugged, plucked right from a race car. And that GR logo, looking really, really amazing. But look at the tunnels to help with the downforce. Because remember, you could put a wing up top, that'll give you downforce. This has air that's gonna flow underneath and suck the car down that way and not give us a lot of drag. Now, I went ahead and slipped some yen to some of the people working here to see if they'll open up the door for us. So let's see if we can make it happen and go to the door panels. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, it's not what you know, it's who you know. We got the driver's sword door open. This is gonna be the business end and I'm gonna swoop out of the way. And what we're gonna do is, is go right to the door panels. Look at what we have, Alcantara material. You'll see how they brought some real cool textures to the interior, the carbon fiber on the door panel, lots of carbon fiber and composites to cut down on the weight of this vehicle. This is not meant to be some 4,000 pound EV. So I can't wait to see what they do with the weight numbers. As we go from the door panel to the dash, check out the steering, check out the monitors, especially that flank the steering wheel there. You have a very interesting D-shaped steering wheel with those monitors on both sides that look like pretty much iPhones. So kind of cool the way they have that set up. Carbon fiber all throughout the interior. And then you have that digital gauge cluster up top that actually showcases the car and all the other different components. There it is, looking good, nice size. You'll notice the pedal box right out of a Toyota race car, nice aluminum dev pedal, brake pedal and throttle. The floor is totally flat because this is a BEV. And then of course you have the seats, that bright blue on the center console, the carbon fiber, and then you have those carbon fiber seats with the Alcantara material. I like the blue, it really pops. Let me know in the comment section, how you feel about those Recaro seats, the blue color they chose, but absolutely stunning to see this at the auto show. You'll also notice full power on the seats. So normally when you go Recaro, that kind of cuts down on your adjustability, especially electric wise, but you do have it on this FTSE. Absolutely phenomenal steering, the displays, the Alcantara on the dash to cut down on glare. But these are the things that we want to bring to you here at the Tokyo Auto Show. And nice to see that MR2 name come back into play. We talk about the Celica, we obviously talk a lot about the Supra, but now having the whereabouts to have the MR2 back here, this is gonna be phenomenal to see this in their lineup. With the power, I mean, sky's the limit. Whether you're going single motor, whether you're going dual motor, that's gonna be the big, thing to see when it comes to power overall. But the fact that when you look at the height of this vehicle and just how good it looks overall, absolutely phenomenal. But I'm hoping that this has been a nice special touch for you, for us to bring it here on the big stage. Nice to have that action. 
and to see the excitement with this car, but definitely let me know in the comment, comment section how you feel about this new car. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. Of course, we can't do it without LG Radio working that camera like a champ. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.